would you believe it? I'm finally actually getting somewhere with this bedroom. I've never ever got to 100%. It's always been at like 50. Do you ever get to 100% with decorating? Probably not. So we're aiming for 90. So I need to show you the updates and then we're going to do some decorating. And these lamps, I've, I've made progress. If you haven't watched my last video, you won't know what I'm talking about. So watch that one and then come back, yeah? Are you ready? Oh, we've got some throws, new cushions, and where's the hanging basket, you ask? Boom, it's over here. Starting over here, we've got a blank canvas. I much prefer the hanging basket over here because it breaks up all the rattany look up here. So obsessed with the bedding right now. I managed to get new white sheets from Dunelm. These throws, which I absolutely love. This big one is actually a muslin cloth fro from Amazon. It's huge and it's such a bargain. This one's also from Amazon. I just wanted to chuck it over for a bit of texture and just to get a bit more green in here. Then I was struggling with the cushion covers and last night I went into Sainsbury's and they had these cushions. Same with inserts, but I like the feather. These are the cushions that came with the covers and I always get rid of these and always have feather inserts. I just think they look so much more luxurious and, and you can't chop these and we all need to do the chop. And then ideally at the front, I want this cushion, but it's out of stock. You know the one I was looking for in my last video? How good would that look there? It would just go perfectly. Oh yeah, and also someone pointed out you need to clean your fan. And I was like, look away, you shouldn't have been looking at that. Look away! <laughs> look at the state of that fan, we're not even. So the bed's basically done, and then the lamps, you might think they look no different, or you might have noticed, I have a new lampshade. They're slightly bigger than my last ones, and they look very similar to the last ones, except they're not painted. Instead of going brown and patchy when you turn them on, they're perfect. And then the plan is, with this tester pot, which is what I painted the bases with last time, £2 from Wix, by the way, if you just need a little bit of paint, I'm going to paint them black. I just think, with the black up there, these have got black. Little touches of black in this room just look nice. So I think that will just look better, because at the moment they're a bit washed out. And then, like I said in my last video, I am going to paint all of the brown bits on these three black, because that middle one's black. I just think it will look better. Other plan for today is I'm going to be extending this arch up. I got these two testers last night. I'm thinking this one. It's quite dark, but I do really love, you notice in a theme in the flat, is pink and green. This one's looking a bit purpley, but we'll try them anyway. I hope I like this one because this is full on purple. Oh, it's very dark. I don't know. Pretty dark, isn't it? They say on the tester to do a 30 centimetre square. That's pretty big. So I've made it bigger and I've done another coat on the middle bit. It's looking very purpley, actually. Lazy side of me wants to like it, but my gut instinct is saying that ain't the colour you wanted, darling. Does that mean I've got to go there and get more testers and come back and test it and then go back? It's a lot of aggro. This house shit ain't simple, is it? You know them people on Instagram that's always doing a project and they get it done and it looks great? How? I might have just done the dumbest thing ever because being impulsive for me usually, usually results in mistakes. I just brought a type of paint. No tester. I thought, do I really want to drive back home and then back to Wix and then, no. So we've gone for, not what I was originally looking for, but it's a marshmallow. It was £10. The marshmallow tester square that they did kind of looked like this. Moment of truth. Oh Lord. Wait, no, it needs to be mixed. I'm scared. <laughs> Why did I just do that? Oh no. It's improving. It's looking very Barbie pink. I thought I'd just quickly cover up the two dark bits. The thing I'm most nervous about is actually making the arch. I need to do it up to here, and I'm gonna use this, the screw, because it's already there from the mirror. Who put the screw in the tuna? Anyone remember that? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that again. But I wasn't the great at the first time round. String attached to a little Barbie pencil. Here it goes. I've honestly lost all memory of how to do this, so I've extended the lines up because in my head the arch goes like that and this is going to make it easier somehow. 
it was going so well and then wah, wah, wah. I didn't learn from my last time either because why have I done that so thick? Successfully doing one arch doesn't mean you can do another one. Let me tell you. Unless I'm just thick. It's okay, at least you can rub it out. Um, bye. Well, I've well and truly fucked that up. <laughs> Resigning. I'm so sick of it. Shove it up your ass, Margaret. Do you know what it is? I can't get the arch. I can get a rounded, but I can't get that part. I've decided to start freehanding it. And I would leave it this height, but I want three shells. I already tested where I wanted them to go. And technically it needs to come up to here. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but... It's working better than the pencil. I have sort of used some of the pencil lines because there's bloody loads. I feel like it's harder to make it bigger than it was to do just one. It's given Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh, that's an arch. That's an egg. The first coat is on and I'm actually loving the colour. But I thought while we're waiting, Let's paint these black and hope I don't hate them. I haven't actually got another paintbrush, so we're going to have to use... We. Me. The little paintbrush at the top. Oh god, this is going to take all day. Definitely got to trust the process with this one, I think. You know, I love to be a bit annoying. A bit suspenseful. But first coats are on. On everything. And I think I'm loving it. Don't know about that dodgy arch. Whilst we wait too, these are the shelves that I've got going up. From Ikea, they're the picture shelves. And I'm gonna put books and little decorative bits. I've got three of them, so that should be nice. I went for this light, beachy kind of wood. So I think it goes with all the beigey, taupey colours I've got. I was trying to get the name, but I will link them down below. They do loads of different colours of these. They're really good price too. Also, look how cute her little wardrobe's looking. I feel like some people don't know this and end up ruining their walls. But did you know you're meant to take this off when the paint's still wet and not dry? So it's looking more rectangle with an oval end rather than arch. But yeah, I think it looks good. I like the colour. I was going to wait till the morning to show you, but I can't wait. So here are the lamps. What do you think? I feel like I need to put the black in so you can see little black accents as well. I love them. They really stand out now because obviously they're backed against the white wall. New lampshades are a taupey beigey colour. They're white. I just think it really stands out now. And I do think once all them brown bits have gone black up there as well, it looks so good. And I just need to think about a light. I'm thinking gold. Where's the gold gone? We've only got gold, gold, gold. We need gold! Does anyone else get so excited for their partner to come home and see the changes? I'm still there like, what do you think? I showed him this TikTok. I love it in here. I fucking love it! And I was like, that's me, that's me. And he's like, but I do love it. I'm like, well, what can I say? And I think I'm gonna ask him to put the shelves up tonight. Is that painting my hair? I hate my hair. The fucking hair is frazzled. You know when I cried for an hour about the flat? I'm gonna cry for an hour about my appearance at one point because I'm, I'm sick of my hair. I've got the biggest urge to straighten it. And when I say straighten, I mean like blow dry straight and have curly sh hair if you were straight hair person. People with straight hair say they're gonna curl it. That That's what I feel like doing because I hate it. I don't know what this little girl's doing to my appearance, but she's ruining it. <laughs> it just made me think of the TikTok sound. Honey, it was broken when I bought it. <laughs> Honey, it was ruined when she bought it. No, I did sometimes like my hair when it was plain ball. Now it just never plays ball. Anyway, see you in the morning, darlings. So as you can see, we haven't put the shelves up yet. But I just wanted to end the video by showing you what it looks like in the daylight. How good does it look? I'm sorry, but can we just take a moment to look at the before, please? I hate this bit. This bit not so bad, but still, what a difference. I literally love it and it's not even fully done. Love the black and the way the plant, you can just see it. It just looks so good. In my next video, we'll do the shelves and stuff like that. I've actually bought these divider things for this drawer. So I'm very excited to do some organisation. The sheets are unintentionally matching the arch. It was meant to be. I was just looking at the reflection in the mirror. I love it. I just wanted this feeling again. 
that feeling of love in your home, you know. But that is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the change. Ciao. See you in my next one. Bye. Yes, I did just put my very dusty fan back. Don't judge me. It'll be cleaned. Not today, but it will be, okay?